this now crowd strike and delta airlines There's food fight is going to be out there and i think george kurtz i believe his name is basically said look under direct damages yeah we would have been on the i think he said single number millions which delta size you could see that the delta ceo ed wants to go after him for 500 mil and he hired dave boys he's an illuminati of high profile legal fights he's done a lot of them in his years so he's sending a message but he's doing it in public not private i happen to think i'll just give you a little inside kind of baseball view maybe yeah. he's doing that for the faa's benefit because they're going to be asking well, what did you do to take care of these passengers that were stranded and the crews and everything else and i look at all that and think why would you pick a fight with your vendor who's deeply embedded in your operations mm -hmm. and call attention to your team's execution and their systems architecture and those innate vulnerabilities why would you do that in the press to me it just seemed odd yeah even Delta has now in an article the other day talking about how they're really right. thinking the whole structure of their team and how many people they need and how they could have done things differently and mm -hmm. should have done things differently. I think this is a great opportunity for everybody to rethink all of that, including yeah. the business continuity part of it and the challenges around right. if 2024 is sending one message to all of us very clearly now over and over again, it's about business continuity and how do we run when the computers aren't available? How are we going to operate? when it's tough. the things we've depended on aren't there for us to use anymore. Right.